What's going on guys? David here again. Uh, if you're new to my channel, on this channel we like to talk about anything man cave, home arcade, home theater, uh, sports theater, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the tech for it, whether it's you know home arcade type stuff, Alexa, um, tech with the subs and the, all the smart stuff, the Xbox, Series X and S and all that kind of stuff, modern game, retro gaming. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like and comment. If you don't mind, we'll find something to comment about here in a minute. Um, but let's go ahead and get that trash out of the way and let's get started. Today, I actually want to talk about movie posters for your room. On one of my last, one of my other videos, I talk about um, these autographed jerseys and stuff and I tell people you can go to Pristine Auction and you can actually find pictures and posters and stuff that are autographed maybe by your favorite movie actor or artist or something and you want to get those, you get them, you want to get them framed. And so I started something I wanted to do and I don't know why it seemed kind of intimidating to me. I see them in a lot of other arcades and home theaters and stuff. They're super easy to do. You just need to go do it. Um, now the pictures, you can find the posters on eBay easily. They can range anywhere from 10 to $11 all the way up into the hundreds. It kind of depends on the movie. Some of them are actual originals. So some of them, like you could find a Top Gun original movie poster that was basically, I guess, from 1980 or 85, 85 or 86, whenever that movie was made, an original poster was made for it. Or you can find the remakes, which of course, I don't know why, I just buy the remake. It's, I mean, the authentic one's great. And if that's what you're into, awesome. I just don't, I'm not paying a hundred bucks for a movie poster. That's just me. So uh, anyway, get on eBay, check them out. Um, 27 by 40 is the legit movie size. And then of course they have all the other sizes. So it kind of depends on your space, maybe how big you are into the movie or you like a movie, but it's not really a big one to you. So you just, but you like it. So you get a smaller one, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm gonna kind of get into today. And I'll show you, I've got four and I used them. A lot of people use them to go into their theater they got like a little hallway we have a staircase i've got four up now and i got two small ones i'm going to show you um i believe i got what fast and the furious underworld the matrix and uh batman begins try to get movies that are me that have i want to say an impact on my life make movies either favorite movies movies that impact on my life kind of developed who i am those are the ones i'm going for i plan on getting a couple more i have four of the big ones right now two of the smaller ones I actually got these, this one uh, was Wonder Woman, and I got a Batman one, 11 by 17. They were buy one, get one free for the pick for the print, so that's why I went ahead and got them. I was like, hey, I'll add a little extra, we'll see how it looks. I wanted to see, these are 11 by 17, I wanted to see how they would look in conjunction with the other ones in case maybe in the man cave I wanted to add some more of these, of other pictures and stuff just around the room just to kind of fill it in, fill in the walls. Um, and then of course the bigger ones out there because I don't really have space for 27 by 40 things in here now. Um, but really impressed with them. These were buy one, get one free from the seller I bought them for. Really great pictures. They look great. Um, and I got the frame off of Amazon. I believe I can't remember if it was $14.99 or $23.99. I bought a couple things that day for two of them. So either which way, I got two of them. Got the buy one, get one free posters. They're the first ones to come in. I think these prints took like two days to come in from when I ordered them. It was super fast. I think they came from Florida. So that's probably why I'm in Alabama. So they came super fast. Uh, of course, you know, prime two days shipping on the frame. So these are the first two I got done. And when I did these and I uh, got them finished and put in, I was stoked to see the 27 by 40s. And like I said, they're super simple. Got little clips back here. You rotate them out. You do that with all of them and then you push them back in. You go around, pull them all out, pull this out, there the stock print out, put yours in, put the back back in, spin these back, nail on the wall, hang it up, you're good to go. Super simple, super easy to do. And once I turned it around and looked at this one and the other one, I knew I'd love the 27 by 40s. Uh, so if you look on Amazon for the 27 by 40 frames, they're very expensive. They can be any 20 to 30 bucks just for one. So if you're doing four of them, you got 30 bucks a piece, do the math, what was that for it? 120, $120 just for the frames, and then you add on another 15 per poster. I mean, you're looking two, $300 just for a couple posters, which you got the money, that's fine, but if you don't, or you just like to save money, the mainstay ones at Walmart, 
I want to say there were 10. No, they were, shoot, now I can't remember. Maybe they were 20 a piece. I think they were 20 a piece at Walmart, but that's like the cheapest I could find. And every one of them, others were like $30, $40 a pop. Now, of course, they're probably nicer and bigger. I get that. So I kind of worried when I got these mainstay ones and I brought them home, I'm like, okay, are these going to look good? Because they look kind of cheap, plasticky or whatever. And like I said, I'm going to take the camera out there and I'll show them to you here in a second. Well, I got the first one, got the poster in, held it up and looked at it. It looked great. Looked awesome. So the $20 mainstay ones, 27 by 40, I guess is the size I got. Go get them from Walmart. They're good enough. Now, if you have a really high-end home theater, you know, you've got all the bells and whistles. It looks super nice. You probably want to spring for something nicer, and I get that. But something like mine, maybe a budget home theater, or just you just want the picture and it to look good and get it on the wall in a frame. The Walmart one's the way to go. They work. They look really well. And uh, my second piece of advice on that is make sure you get 27 by 40. Not 27 by 39, not 39 and a half, not 38 and a half, any of those numbers. It's gotta be 27 by 40. Three of my posters are 27 by 40. My matrix one is 27 by 39. I didn't really think it'd make that big of a difference. I was hoping maybe the frame might cover a little bit or whatever, but no, it is short. And I, it's one of those things that if it's on your house, you'll know it's short. Other people probably won't notice unless they're just nitpicky too. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. The Walmart ones, they come with the mat. Now, of course, it's a mat for pictures and stuff, but still the outside is covered in a white mat. So if you put the poster in there, I put the mat on the back to kind of fill those lines in so they're not just empty and look completely stupid. It doesn't look bad, but I know it's there. And the way the other three posters look, it irritated me that this one was a little short. Now I bought it, it was on the seller's link and everything, so it's nothing against them. I knew what I bought, so my advice to you, if you're looking for a poster, get a 27 by 40. If you get these frames, get the poster that fits the frame, 11 by 17, 11 by 17. You want it to fit and cover up the whole thing and look good. Unless, the only way I'll say this, I have a picture over here that's matted. It's an Alabama picture. If it's matted where it has a border and it's all the way around, it's even, it'll look great, it'll look fine. That you can do. So if you did like 11 by 17 and then did a bigger frame, a 15 by whatever the heck it is, you know, with a matte border, That'll look great too. So I've got actually a couple pictures in here that are matted like that. Those will look great. But if you get it where it's just an inch short on the bottom, it's going to look horrible. So I just kind of moved it in the middle, put the mat on there, put the frame on there. The frame covered a little bit too. So it doesn't look bad, but I know it's there. If it was in your home and you did it, you would know it's there. So my advice, if you get a 27 by 40 frame, get a 27 by 40 picture, it should be a no duh moment but for me it was like I, it was a matrix picture i really wanted it at the time it was the only one i could find i was ordering all the rest i'd already put this off this is something i've wanted to do for a year or so and i just kept putting it off kept putting it off finally just said screw it started buying everything i should have either gotten a different movie because i like a lot of movies or waited on that one so disappointed in that one and all of them but otherwise hey it's super simple super easy to do I haven't seen many videos on it. That's how you do it. I, you can get them on Amazon. The smaller frames you can get on Amazon just fine. The bigger ones, you might want to look at Walmart or something, uh, unless you just want high-end something. Then go to Hobby Lobby, something like that. Or you can order the nicer ones off Amazon for your house if you want to be super nice, super expensive looking. That's cool too. But I like these 11 by 17s I like. These are good fillers. So like for this room where I can't put 27 by 40s, I want to buy other ones. I've got spots to put pictures like this. I can put these all over the walls everywhere and they look great and they don't dominate the room like the 27 by 40s were. So let me take a second, let me set this up here. And it's one thing about my channel, it's very raw, so I don't do a whole lot of editing. So I'm not gonna cut and play crazy music and show these. I'm just gonna grab the tripod and show them to you real quick. Uh, sorry about that if you don't like it. I know you're used to a lot of YouTubers that are like, hey, this is gonna be, oh, well, let's show you, that's the mat. See, so autographed by George Teague, the nice mats around it, it looks great. That's the way you want to do it if the picture's short. I believe that's 11 by 17, and of course the frame's bigger, but that looks great. I love that's a Walmart frame too, so it was only like 15 bucks, and my parents bought me that picture, God, how many ever years ago, and I've just kept it my whole life. Finally got it matted and on the wall. That's how you want to do it if you're going to do a picture smaller than the frame. So let's go out here. And you'll see there's one of my other ones. Oops, sorry. My other small one. 
you know, and Wonder Woman goes right there. So that's where those two go. Fill that space nice. There's Batman begins. Matrix, you see there's the hall and the stairs and everything. So Matrix and Batman begins go there. And then on this side, we have Underworld and Fast and the Furious. Sorry, I'll have a whole lot of room to back up here to really get them in frame, but you get the idea. My wife absolutely loves this. this is, <laughs> she said this is probably actually her favorite thing that I've done for the man cave and it's in the hall. And it's these pictures, but you can see the frames. I mean, they're thin little strips, nothing crazy, nothing expensive. They get the job done, they get them hung up. And it does it. So here's the matrix one. I'll go ahead and show you. Look, there's the little white top border, white bottom. So it doesn't look horrible or anything like that. And I'll probably be one of the only ones that notice. I got another buddy that's very anal about stuff. So he'll probably notice it too. But other than that, it looks great. So sorry. Let's back up in here before we get some cats. Sorry about it. Everyone, bear with me. So that's it. Let's go ahead and get this video wrapped up. So if you're on the fence about it, basically in short, go find posters you want. You know, I talked about before about pristine auction. You can go find you some, maybe some autograph posters from actors from movies like Actors of Actions. Uh, maybe some artist stuff, album covers or whatever. Same thing. And uh, get a matted hat hung on your wall. Looks really good. It's super simple to do. Overall, it can be pretty cheap. The posters, the big posters all cost, I think they were all $12 a piece. And then the frame was $20, so $32 basically a picture. So I mean, for down there, it's $130 bucks to do those four pictures. But like I said, my wife absolutely loves them. I absolutely love them. They kind of get the mood going when you come up the hallway. I need to add some lighting in there now, too. That's not just the overhead dome lights. But go do it. It's super simple to do. It's a couple clips, hammer, nail, hanging on the wall. You won't regret it. It just brings more to the room. So, hey, let's go ahead and end this video. Comment down if you've done this before, if you're thinking about doing it, the movies you might like, any other ideas you have, or other places you might have bought your stuff from that are awesome that you really like. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Shoot this thing a big thumbs up if you like it. And if you feel like this is stuff you'd like to follow with other videos you've seen, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If not, either way, we'll see you on the next one. Out.